have you ever been invited to do something and a part of you wanted to do it and another part of you was like oh god this sounds like a lot of work I can relate I think we all can if you're an entrepreneur or a human being um, I just wanted to share I'm, I'm at Newark Airport I'm about to go to Tampa and a friend of mine a mentor invited me to go do this tele summit with this woman named Brooke and she seemed so confident and capable and organized and I was like oh this seems cool it sounds like a lot of work ah! um, and a part of me was like I don't know but another part of me was like yeah you need to do this Elaine you need to it's okay if it's gonna be a lot of work like you need to do this and I'm so grateful because I've gotten to know Brooke Borup and she's amazing and we're working on some cool projects and I'm getting to come to Tampa. I'm getting out of the frozen tundra of New Jersey to go to Tampa in February. I don't know what's better, right? So anyway, but it all started because I said yes. Now I know as an entrepreneur, sometimes we have to learn how to say no or not right now or let me think about it or thank you so much. Um, you don't want to spread yourself too thin, which I did for years. But um, I'm so grateful I said yes, I trusted my gut. You never know what can come from it. When you, when you meet good people who do good work and have integrity, jump, you know? So I am just grateful and it's really early so I'm gonna go get some coffee. But the power of yes, yes and. All right, have an awesome day. Okay, bye.